of business analysts and um, computer engineers and scientists, we have come up with this new app, ID Smart, which hopefully will revolutionize the way that we look at nutrition and care. Uh, currently in the U.S., 600,000 people die every year because of cardiovascular disease. That's one in four deaths. That's huge. And all of that is preventable. When you think about changing exercise, diet, and cessation of smoking, that would reduce that dramatically. People have tried to live of uh, exercise and it's not been as effective as people hope. So now everybody's eyes are going on to nutrition. So, with that said, the big problem is individuals are not getting the correct nutritional care in time to prevent the onset of preventable chronic disease. And why is this? It could be because of time. With primary care physicians, they just don't have the time to apply. It could be cost. They don't, these individuals cannot get to nutrition. Um, our solution is to engage individuals by providing a very simple and interactive environment backed up by data-driven suggestions. And we would be pulling information, we would be designing a nutritional plan that is individualized um, from uh, information from multiple data sources that are scientifically proven. For example, cardiovascular disease would be linked to the American Heart Association. Um, our prototype looks a little bit like this. And first, we, the user would use a, a health profile and fill that out about 10 minutes. Um, and there, the additional questions would be about medication, food allergies, food intolerances, religious preferences, cultural tendencies, um, to get a big picture to be able to individualize them best better, in addition to the chronic disease and the regular questions. Um, a nutritional plan would then be um, uh, delivered as a product to the individual and their app, which they would follow. Um, there would be two versions, a, a simple version and an enhanced version. Um, the simple version would just include food groups and allow for the, the individual to track. Um, the other one would be a little bit more enhanced and give recipe suggestions, meal plans, and like shopping lists. Um, and then the progress would be tracked by measuring objective data, um, and these would be biometrics. Um, um, traction and market opportunity. Uh, we are um, thinking about first having pilot studies, for example, at the University of uh, Michigan's uh, cardiovascular department, um, or with SNAP. Um, so we were thinking either starting with then premium, once we have an optimized product, um, and then we would also do business to business and business customers in terms of the advanced data analytics that will be coming from the data. Um, the future would be using the data from uh, analytics to the screen. are due to Do you know the impact of your app on health? 
Um, well, every month, um, the, pay, the individual would be reporting their um, uh, data from their doctor. So we're talking about um, hard markers like uh, cholesterol, um, and then looking at the, looking at blood pressure, also like looking at the liver values, kidney values, um, and then also measuring uh, height, weight, to BMI, um, hip waist ratio. And then that would be marked monthly, and then you would be see objectively how you are improving, how your glucose is um, dropping, how it's normalizing, and and then the patient would also be getting feedback every month, and then that's continuing um, to use as it's being motivated and engaged. I have three more questions, and then you lose that line. <laughs> well, we can hope that the user just wants to be better and healthier. That's <laughs> So unfortunately, that's it for time on here. But thank you so much, guys.